Letting me speak this evening, I am Reverend Keith Curl Dove, and I am the pastor at New Creation Community Presbyterian Church, where we have a long history of welcoming people experiencing homelessness as full members of our spiritual family. So because of that, I am here to express concern about amendments to the Greensboro City Code that will further criminalize poverty and homelessness. As a Christian minister, I speak in terms of Christian theology. But even if we do not share theology, I appeal to our shared morality and humanity. These amendments create criminals and do not prevent crime. In theological terms, I believe our city government is practicing the ancient ritual of scapegoating, in which communities would symbolically place their collective sin on the back of a goat and send it off in the wilderness to die. For ancient Israelites, this used to occur on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, which coincidentally begins tomorrow at sunset. As our Jewish siblings prepare to observe the Day of Atonement faithfully, our city government is actively engaging in a perverted and false atonement by turning people without houses into scapegoats and placing our systemic sin of inequality on their backs, forcing them out of the city and into the wilderness to die. As Duke Divinity School professor emeritus Charles Campbell writes, if homeless people can be turned into criminals, then the sin and guilt of our social order can be heaped upon their shoulders. The rest of us can breathe easy, absolved of our own sin and guilt as we drive the homeless from our midst. As a Christian community, our congregation believes that God's mission in the world is the enactment of good news to the poor. We have made promises to live according to Matthew chapter 25, in which Jesus fully identifies with the least of these and declares that whatever we do to them, we do to him. We also know that Jesus was homeless himself with no place to lay his head. Therefore, we believe that our city government is criminalizing Jesus once again. Even if city ordinances declare it so, being without a house is not criminal. Upholding a system of inequality that allows homelessness to exist is criminal and forcing people without houses into the wilderness with our sin on their backs is injustice of the highest order. We believe that it is a Christian imperative for us to stand where our homeless Lord stands, which is always against injustice and with the wronged. Therefore, we oppose any and all amendments to the Greensboro City Code that criminalize poverty and homelessness or limit acts of assistance to the least of these. We pray that the council will have softened hearts and choose to work against the evil that creates homelessness and poverty rather than uphold it. Thank you.